So we're here right now sitting uh, somewhere tucked away uh, in the depths of Cops Coliseum. I'm here with Lanny Marchand, who was second today, second woman in the historic Around the Bay Road race. Uh, Lanny, could you first tell us a little bit about who you are? You're fairly new to the road racing scene, so uh, uh, you're from London? Yeah, I was born and raised in London, Ontario. Um, I did my undergrad in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then after that, I came back up to Canada for law school. Um, that's kind of where I decided to switch my focus to the roads. I had a little bit of success to start out with, like surprising, just running faster than I thought I would. Uh, then I broke my pelvis um, the second year of law school and kind of just wasn't sure if I wanted to do this anymore. Um, and then just this past fall, well, this past summer, I was rollerblading a lot and decided I'd kind of start dibble-dabbling back into racing and training and more for fun. Did a lot of trail races, did some triathlons. Then this fall I had a really um, strong race at the 10K Championships and really surprised myself there. Um, then turned around the next day and did the Detroit Half Marathon, um, which was fun. It was kind of a whim. I, there was a couple girls I knew we were originally going to do a relay and I just kind of we switched over and decided to do the half instead. It went kind of pretty well. Um, I went to Japan uh, because of the 10K championships. Then I came back and begrudgingly ran cross country nationals. But uh, I'm definitely wanting to stick to the roads and looking forward to seeing where they'll go. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about today's race? Uh, what was your time and how did the race go? Uh, my time, I think, was like just under 154. Um, I wanted to be a little bit quicker than that, but I think everybody kind of felt the cold, and um, I'd say about 20 to 22 K in, I was running with a buddy, and uh, he, he just took off and went ahead. I just had to kind of pull it back and make sure third wasn't coming too close behind me and hope that I could hold off for a second, because that's a lot. It's, it's different doing the long distance stuff. That's one thing I'm really learning, and I'm going to have to start practicing uh, with the longer mileage runs and hope that nothing breaks again. <laughs> so. so you're training where, where you're going to law school now in Michigan. What, how much running are you doing a week? Um, the highest I've hit so far has been about 54 miles for the week. Um, all fall I kind of stuck around the 40 range. I'm just trying to hit, I think it'll, it's May 14th or 15th marks one year of healthy running. So. I'm kind of just trying to hold off until then before I do anything drastic and up my mileage. So. And uh, what's next on the race card? Um, I have a 10K in Michigan I'm doing just kind of as a fun run, I think. I don't even know for sure if I'll do it if my legs don't feel better by then. Um, but the main thing that's on the calendar is the half, cha half marathon championships in Montreal. That's where I kind of really want to... Mm -hmm. Okay, see if I can throw down with some of these girls and not get halfway through and decide my calves are done and <laughs> jingle jog it in. <laughs> Good, and that's on April 17th that yeah. uh, you'll be chasing Dana Pitarevsky again. Again, uh, and Megan we're, we're, Brown, I believe, and it's going to be a big field. I'm just excited that our Canadian women are starting to match what we've got on the men's side. And, Hopefully we can throw down and all run fast. So. Very, very exciting. I understand, though, that, that as well as the running challenges, you, you've had some livelihood challenges <laughs> trying, trying to do uh, law school. Uh, uh, I, I think were you uh, doing blood donations last fall, and you've got a, a, a relay, a fundraiser coming up? Um, yeah, well, this winter I was donating plasma um, for groceries. But uh, I decided there's probably a more productive way I could use my training and kind of get out there that there's those of us that aren't sponsored and are still trying to finish school or living alone, part-time jobs, just doing what we can to get by. And so it's two feet in a heartbeat, and that's essentially how I always describe what I do. Well, well, how do you get home from class? Two feet in a heartbeat. Like, throw my backpack on and start checking at home. So... I'm doing a runathon to kind of try and raise funds. I have my bar exam and stuff I have to pay for. Uh, I've done law school and everything on my own, so the goal is to raise enough money for that. And then anything above that, I would hope to make into this into a more annual thing and roll it over and start picking runners who can who need the help who aren't getting the shoe deal 
sales or sponsorships or Athletics Canada money. So, so what's the goal? How much do we have to raise for the uh, Lanny Marchand uh, <laughs> Athlete uh, uh, Improvement Fund? Um, well, the, the bar and the prep course combined uh, runs between, well, if I get it in by April 1st, it will be <laughs> Um, about 3500 and then there's late fees and penalties if I don't have funds, which I probably won't, but that's okay. But uh, anywhere from like about 4000 to $5,000 is kind of the kicker. You get this far, you see the, the bar, the licensing, and you kind of have to scour. How, how can we find out more about uh, your, your, your relay uh, two steps and a heartbeat, Lanny? Um, it's... The only way I knew how to do it, I'm not very computer savvy, so I just have a blog page. It's lannymarchant.wordpress.com. Um, and if you just go on there, it has a, some pictures and info about me and what I'm trying to do. Um, and then, like I said, anything I raise above what I actually need is going to roll over and either into my home club, London Western, and we'll set up a fund, or if other people know a, a better way for me to do it. I'm kind of new to this. It's just kind of a hope and a prayer. Oh, well, congratulations Thank on the you. initiative there and <laughs> try, trying to, to obviously uh, uh, improve your training conditions yeah. and, and uh, maybe roll some of it over to, to other runners too. Mm -hmm. So great run today, Lanny. Thank you. Uh, don't run yourself out in all <laughs> of the fundraising because we want oh, no. to see They're you do brilliantly fun. in Montreal. <laughs> yeah, they'll be fun. So it's not to try and set any records or anything, just... Get the miles, get the funds. Might up your sure. weekly mileage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there All, <you> right. Go. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Lanny Marchand, good you. stuff.